This is something, right? This is something. All right, here's the thing. In last week's video, I had a problem. To be honest, I wish I had another 60D with me because then I would also light up the background here. Maybe uh, hit this light with some sunlight and this wall as well, just to make it look even more uh, realistic that the sun is actually shining into the window. To the window, to the window. However, if you saw the final result in that video, there was actually sunlight in the window. Despite it being an overcast, grey day in Gothenburg, and I was one light short. So I was thinking that today I would show you how I achieved this by using power windows in DaVinci Resolve. Um, here we go. Come on. Here we go. Okay, so this is a lot easier than it might seem. So I think this should be a pretty uh, short and concise video. Just to start out, I'll show you how this finished clip looks uh, under the color tab in DaVinci Resolve. So this is my uh, tiny little node tree that you can see here. I hope you're not sick of this video clip already. I promise I do, I do have more clips. This isn't the only thing I've done. I, I promise. Now, first off, before I jump in and show you exactly how I did this, let me just tell you why I think it works really well for this particular shot. The thing is, I already lit this scene with 160D, with that sort of sunlight feel that I wanted for this shot. So there is already real light in this scene. The light that we see hitting the background here, that is from my 60D that I had on location. Same thing here on her hand, on her shoulder, on her legs, on the side of her head and face. That is all real light on location. Not sunlight, but mimicking the sunlight that I wanted. This was good for a couple of reasons. First, when I wanted to fake this stuff, I have a really clear reference over here and other places of what the sunlight should look like when hitting the wall. So it was really easy for me to mimic the right uh, color tone for the light and the, uh, the strength, the brightness of the light as well. Since we have that light on location, this, this part makes sense. This part makes sense. It looks like the light should hit here because we, we also see the light hitting her on the shoulder, on her legs and on the background. That is why we get away with this shot. Keep that in mind if you want to try this out yourself. Nothing beats the real deal on location. This is a plan B, like a helping hand to elevate your footage. But having said that, let's, let's have a look at how I added some fake sun into this video clip. So back to the color tab. This little stack of nodes right here is all of the different power windows that I have in this scene. So if you just turn them off one by one, we have some uh, extra color right there. You can see that turning on and off. Uh, I have some extra light on our model's face. A bit of uh, vignetting. Uh, some extra shadow that you can see is behind our model up here in the corner, a little bit down here. Just to make those parts a little bit darker, make our model pop a little bit more. We have our sunlight. That is now uh, gone. Just turned off the sun. Then there's a window turning down uh, the light over here on the bed because I thought it was a little bit too bright. Ah, I just think it popped a little bit too much. That's now where we're supposed to be looking in this scene. And as you can see, with all these things turned off, it's just, it's just not the same. You can see much clearer that it's not a nice day outside. So my fake light on location looks more fake. The light I added on location elevates the fake sunlight that I added in post, and the fake sunlight that I added in post elevates my light on location. So let's just turn all these on again. I'm just gonna turn on the sunlight last. And if I turn on the power windows right here, uh, let's see, let's see. You can see that there's uh, quite a lot going on. Uh, it looks like a big mess, and in a way it sort of is. Luckily, this shot is static. It's on a tripod, so I didn't have to motion track any windows at all. 
if this was a scene that was moving, that would be a lot trickier. However, what I did do was to use the magic mask to track our model, because as you can see in this clip, she moves in front of this light, in front of my power windows. And I obviously do not want that light to be on top of her. It should be behind her. Let's move this one. And we'll create a new one so I can walk you through exactly how I did this, or more or less at least. I'm not going to do all these little crazy windows again, but I'll do one. You'll get one. Tell them, Peter. Uh, apparently everybody gets one. I think that should be enough for you to get the idea of what we're doing. Uh, so option P creates another uh, little window here. And I'm going to start with choosing a, um, try this one, the rectangle. I'm just going to add this right here. So let's say you wanted the sunlight to be on this entire wall, maybe something like uh, this. There's a little bit too much feather on this. But it just maybe I think feather on the top and bottom makes more sense. Here's there's a pretty like hard edge. So I obviously want the light to uh, mimic the light in the scene right now. Now there are a bunch of different ways you can change the exposure for this. I'm just going to jump over to the offset and raise this up. until I feel like it's as close as possible to this background right here. Because that is the sunlight that we're trying to mimic. I'm gonna turn this off for a bit so I can see it just like that. I think that is quite all right. I'm just gonna stay in the offset and adjust the tone of this as well and try to match, again, try to match what I see right here. Let's say something like that. Maybe it feels a little bit too dark now, so I'm just gonna keep bringing that up a little bit. I think something like that looks pretty nice. But as you can see, now we have this line going across our model, which sort of ruins the effect, doesn't it? So to fix that, I'm going to jump over to the magic mask window. And I'm going to select our model. I'm going to invert this mask. You can already see what this did to our footage. Now, track this backwards. Track it forwards. Sorry, I'm gonna change this to better just so we get a cleaner edge on our model. And uh, track this again, sorry. All right, let's have a little look. How about that? That was, that was pretty easy. Now obviously, obviously I did the same thing for uh, the lamp shade over here uh, and for the lamp down here. You know, just trying to imagine how the sunlight would hit if it was actually shining through that window. And to be honest, it was um, it's quite a fun process and I'm pretty happy with the results. So yeah, I'm glad that this uh, sunlight through the window thing was a pretty easy fix and ended up looking quite nice. I did make a genuine mistake filming this clip though, that uh, that really annoys me. Maybe that's a video for for another time. Maybe, uh, maybe next week. Maybe. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I'll uh, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Did we get it? Did we get that? There's no one there.